This is a public face that everyone recognizes. But to know about Tutankhamun as a boy, as a man, as a king, to know his personality, we have to go and see other objects found in the tomb. This is the story of one of the most mysterious families in history. For thousands of years, the secrets of the 18th dynasty of ancient Egypt lay buried beneath the sands of time. What is it? It's a step. I think it's an entrance. But thanks to groundbreaking scientific advancements, we're finally uncovering the truth about the family of Tutankhamun. In November of 1922, after five years of searching, Howard Carter and his patron, Lord Carnarvon, finally discovered the last resting place of Tutankhamun. And the tragic end of a powerful dynasty. Egypt will stand against all the armies of the world. Just as Graham Hancock has revolutionized the way we view ancient civilizations. Entering this secret underworld, the first thing you observe is that there are stars everywhere. Modern DNA research is now peeling back the layers of Egypt's past. From royal inbreeding to possible genetic diseases, this journey is rewriting what we know about Egypt's most famous pharaohs. A lot of people think they know who Tutankhamun was, but actually his backstory is very mysterious and very, very debated. Introduction to Ancient Egypt For nearly three millennia, ancient Egypt stood as one of the most influential civilizations the world has ever known. From the towering pyramids to the awe-inspiring temples and intricate tombs, Egypt's architectural feats still leave us breathless today. But perhaps most captivating are the artifacts, murals, and inscriptions that remain, offering a glimpse into the daily lives of a people whose culture continues to intrigue. Yet for all the knowledge Egypt has shared, many of its mysteries remain unsolved. One of the greatest questions surrounds the collapse of its mighty 18th dynasty, which gave birth to the famous pharaoh Tutankhamun. The key to unraveling the enigmatic end of this royal family may lie hidden within the very mummies that have endured for thousands of years. In a time when genetic research was unimaginable, modern science has come to the rescue. Thanks to cutting-edge DNA technology, Experts are now able to peer into the past like never before, uncovering ancient secrets that were once thought lost to time. Could these genetic discoveries finally provide the missing pieces to understand the fall of Egypt's greatest rulers? Only time and science will tell. The Discovery of Tutankhamun's Tomb In 1922, a discovery was made that would forever change the way we understand ancient Egypt. Archaeologist Howard Carter, backed by Lord Carnarvon, had spent years searching the Valley of the Kings in Luxor, hoping to uncover the tomb of a relatively unknown pharaoh of the 18th dynasty, Tutankhamun. The valley, notorious for its tombs being looted over the centuries, seemed to have no more secrets left. However, Carter's persistence led to an unexpected find. Just two days into his excavation, a step was uncovered, which soon turned into a flight of 16 steps descending into the earth. This hidden entrance led to a vast corridor and at its end lay one of the most astonishing archaeological discoveries of all time, the tomb of Tutankhamun, sealed for over 3,000 years. Inside, Carter found a hoard of treasure, unimaginable in its scale and grandeur. The riches of the boy king, who ascended the throne at a mere nine years old and died young at 18, revealed glimpses of a lavish royal life. But more intriguing than the treasure, was the mystery surrounding Tutankhamun himself, the sudden end of his lineage, and the untold story of his short-lived reign. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. The Mystery of Tutankhamun's Family The tomb of Tutankhamun not only revealed a treasure trove of artifacts, but it also brought to light a mystery that has captivated historians and archaeologists for decades the tragic fate of his family. Among the many astonishing finds were two miniature coffins containing the mummies of two unborn children. The discovery of these tiny mummies sparked endless questions about the young pharaoh's family and the sudden end of the powerful 18th dynasty. Who were these children? Why did they die? 
And could their deaths be connected to the abrupt fall of a once great royal lineage? The more we learn about Tutankhamun, the more we realize that his reign may have been marred by family tragedy. Speculation about genetic disorders has been swirling for years, with some experts suggesting that inbreeding within the royal family may have led to their downfall. It's possible that Tutankhamun's immediate family was affected by genetic diseases, which could have led to early deaths and stillbirths, including those of his children. However, despite the wealth of artifacts and evidence found in his tomb, the true story of his family's demise remains shrouded in mystery. DNA testing may now be our best hope of unraveling this enigma. The role of DNA in ancient Egypt. The advent of DNA technology has transformed the study of ancient civilizations, offering us an unprecedented window into the past. For decades, scientists and archaeologists have been working to unlock the secrets hidden within Egypt's royal mummies. And today, DNA analysis is playing a key role in this quest. The ability to extract and analyze DNA from mummified remains, some of which have been preserved for over 3,000 years, is a monumental scientific breakthrough. DNA analysis is allowing researchers to explore the genetic makeup of the pharaohs and their families, offering new insights into their health, their relationships, and even the diseases that may have plagued them. For example, through DNA testing, scientists are now able to investigate the genetic link between Tutankhamun and his ancestors, shedding light on possible hereditary conditions. Were the pharaohs of the 18th dynasty affected by inbreeding? Could a genetic disorder have played a role in their early deaths and the mysterious end of their dynasty? This new approach could help answer these questions and reveal the hidden genetic history of one of the world's most remarkable civilizations, the genetic secrets of Akhenaten and his family. Akhenaten, often referred to as the heretic pharaoh, remains one of Egypt's most intriguing and enigmatic rulers. His reign marked a dramatic shift in Egypt's religious and artistic traditions as he abandoned the worship of traditional gods in favor of the sun god Atin. However, it was Akhenaten's physical appearance and family life that raised the most questions among historians. Known for his distinctive and somewhat bizarre portrayal in statues, depicting him with an elongated head, a narrow chin, and wide hips, many scholars have speculated that these features were the result of a genetic disorder possibly linked to inbreeding. Recent DNA analysis is now offering clues into the genetic makeup of Akhenaten's family. Could these unusual physical traits have been the result of a hereditary disease? Could his deformed features and the abnormalities in his family members be linked to a genetic disorder such as Marfan syndrome, a condition that causes elongated limbs and other distinctive physical features? DNA tests are helping to answer these questions revealing the possibility of genetic anomalies passed down through Akhenaten's line. This research could provide crucial answers to understanding the complex and mysterious history of Egypt's 18th dynasty and the impact of genetic inheritance on their legacy. Searching for the 18th dynasty's DNA clues. The search for DNA clues from the 18th dynasty is a meticulous and challenging task, with scientists carefully extracting genetic material from the royal mummies housed in the Cairo Museum. Over 30 mummies from this dynasty, many of which are remarkably well-preserved, offer vital potential insights into the mysterious end of this great family. However, extracting usable DNA from ancient remains is no easy feat, as the mummies have been preserved for over 3,000 years. Despite these challenges, progress is being made, with experts like Scott Woodward and Wilfred Griggs leading the charge in analyzing the royal DNA. A key area of focus is the fetuses found with Tutankhamun in his tomb. The miniature coffins containing these unborn children have remained a mystery for decades, but DNA testing on these samples could provide crucial answers. Were these fetuses also affected by the same genetic conditions that plagued their parents? Could they provide more insight into the family's tragic fate? As the research continues, DNA will help piece together the genetic puzzle of Egypt's most famous royal family. Unveiling the truth of the mystery pharaoh. Among the mysteries of Tutankhamun's family is the identity of a pharaoh found in tomb KV-55. Discovered in 1907, this tomb had been destroyed with its coffin and cartouches removed. Initially thought to belong to Queen Tia, it was later revealed to be a male and the true identity remained unclear. 
Many speculate it could be Akhenaten, Tutankhamun's father, or perhaps an older brother. Genetic analysis offers a rare chance to resolve this mystery. By comparing DNA from this unknown pharaoh with that of Tutankhamun and others, scientists hope to confirm the family connection. This discovery could provide important insights into the royal bloodline and the fall of the 18th dynasty. The genetic legacy of the 18th dynasty. DNA analysis is helping scientists unravel the family tree of the 18th dynasty, revealing important details about their genetics. While early generations were marked by sibling marriages, the family later incorporated fresh genetic material, which may have improved their health. However, new findings suggest that even with this change, certain genetic disorders may have affected the family. The evidence points to metabolic conditions that could explain the early deaths of several family members, including Tutankhamun. As researchers continue analyzing DNA, they are beginning to piece together a clearer picture of the dynasty's genetic history offering new insights into how genetic factors may have contributed to their sudden decline.